Hello, I am going to do a day in the life of me and show you what I eat every day. So yeah, if you wanna see what I eat in a day and what I get up to on an average day in the life of me, then keep watching. So for my breakfast, I tend to have a latte. So I'll use one of the one-to-one -one diet products. I still like to use them in maintenance. I love them, they're nutritionally complete, they are tasty, they're low calorie and really filling so I just enjoy having them so every morning I have my either my vanilla latte so I use either the vanilla shake which is lactose free or I'll use the cappuccino shake which is also lactose free so these two are lovely with a shot of coffee made with hot water into like a huge latte you can make it up to like 600 mils but I just think they're really lovely for a breakfast so I'm going to show you how to make them and today I'm going to use the cappuccino because I do normally use the vanilla I'm gonna mix it up a bit today and show you the latte with the cappuccino shake. So I use the Ninja blender and I've got this attachment with obviously the blade and the lid for afterwards. And what I use is the Beanie's Caramel Popcorn. This is my favorite. You can just use normal um, coffee, but I really like the flavor of this one, but I also really like sweet stuff. So I add the My Protein Butter Biscuit flavor drops as well, just to add extra sweetness. Like if I went to Costa, I would have like syrup or something. And obviously we all know that the, those drinks are high in calories. So this is my alternative. And like I say today, I'm gonna to have it with the cappuccino one-to-one -one diet shake. So that is my morning cappuccino breakfast. It is absolutely delicious. That's really sweet actually. <laughs> I probably put a little bit too much butter biscuit syrup stuff in, but if you like a sweet drink, oh, if you don't like it sweet, if you want more coffee taste, uh, like more of a bitter taste, then obviously use a strong coffee and don't add any flavored coffee or syrup into it basically, but it's, it's lovely and the cappuccino one, is just more of a coffee flavour as opposed to the vanilla being quite vanilla-y. Like people say to me, is it really sweet? It is quite sweet and it has got quite a strong vanilla flavour. So it just depends what your preference is. A lot of my slimmers also have the um, chocolate shake, so they'll make like a, uh, what's it called? A mocha. So yeah, there's loads of variations, but honestly, for a coffee hit in the morning and a really, really filling, lovely breakfast basically, I just find it so easy. Like when you're on the go with the kids, it's so easy. So yeah, let me know if you make it. And enjoy. So today is a bit of a strange one because it's a Wednesday and I've got Bethany off school because she tested positive for COVID. <laughs> she's actually fine today, she's just been lazy. Um, but she, this is her third day off school and she's going back tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, today is a work day with my slimmers. So I've only got a half day booked today because normally I'd be going to the gym on a Wednesday morning. So I book my slimmer calls from a bit later on so I can go in the morning. But obviously things have changed today or this week in general. So I'm gonna be at home. So I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning. I will be doing my slimmer calls from lunchtime onwards. So again, I'll take you along with us and you can see what I do in my day job. So when it comes to water, I literally just pour a pint. Well, not pour a pint, but get a pint from the tap and literally down it at the sink so I just do it pint by time pint by time pint per time honestly it's so important to drink the water this is my second pint and it's only half past nine you do pee for England but it's good for you and I've got a couple of spots at the moment from lots of overindulging on holiday alcohol and Italian and Greek and Portuguese food. <laughs> so yeah, drink the water, at least four pints a day if you can. When you're on plan, it's at least four pints. Um, day to day life really, four, four pints minimum. Um, I try and go for about six. Your water's there, darling. I'll put it in your bottle. <laughs> 
Nearly done. Cool. So that's two pints down. Go me. Also, something I spoke about yesterday on my Instagram was feeling like really overwhelmed with all of the plans that I've had recently. Like literally every two minutes there's something going on. Lots of trips away, all close together and lots of things coming up. And I get really overwhelmed by that because it kind of messes with my routine a bit and I'm quite a routine focused kind of person. I like to know what I'm doing when. So yesterday I made a little list and I literally listed all the days left this year and there was 188 days and out of, out of those 188 days I had 139 free days so free days to be healthy be really conscious of what I'm eating get my water in all the other days which however many that is 188 minus 139 um, that's all the days that I've got planned so either like holidays with the kids um, we're only going to the UK with the children this year um, but we've got little breaks, we've got weekend breaks, we've got little spa breaks with the girls, um, we've got like my brother's engagement party, lots of little things happening that will kind of be revolved basically around food and drink, which is just how we are socially, isn't it? That's, that's the problem. But I just have a real passion of, you, you do have to live, like I want my slimmers to enjoy those events and I think if they're really good at home and really in control and really in their set routine and eating really good food and sticking to whatever plan they're doing and then on those days that you have events when you're maintaining you should be able to enjoy them you know I don't want you to be restricting at events and then binging at home so that's kind of like the balance that I try and get and I try and pass on to my slimmers so making that little list massively helped me yesterday I feel really in control now and yeah just a little positive thing that I think works for me and hopefully it will work for you. While I'm here I thought I'd show you my garden and where I work from. So this is my home office. All the products are kept over here. So I don't see anyone face to face anymore, but this is where I keep my stock for my local ladies that come and collect um, every week. And then I have all the other products delivered out to um, my remote slimmers. So this is where I sit and do my calls kids watch TV in here but yeah it's just lovely when you can look out to this feeling quite proud of my little planter I am NOT green fingered at all but I'm um, trying <laughs> so I wanted it to look quite modern but I wanted a little bit of color so we've got these baskets to put up and these eucalyptus have literally grown like no one's business. We did have another one in, but they're just so big. But look how nice that is. So yeah, that's my little proud <laughs> bit of the garden. And I get asked about this a lot as well. So we got the Lazy Spa Singapore, just because it was grey. <laughs> and it went with the garden. Um, kids use it all the time. I don't use it that much, but kids love it. Can't show you the garden furniture because it's covered at the moment, but um, when it's not, I'll probably do vlogs of us in the garden. As some of you might remember, last year we were out here every minute of every day that the sun was shining. So for lunch today, I'm gonna have these Piri Piri Chicken Sizzlers. I'll have half the pack, so it will be, what will it be, 206 calories for half. And then I buy these, salads from Sainsbury's and they are 47 calories for half so basically 100 calories plus the 200 300 calorie salad lovely So Bethany has requested a ham and cheese wrap and crisps. How is it? Good. Good. Are you feeling all right today? Good. Back to school tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so with my chicken, I always cook these in the oven like this. I'll probably cook it all up actually and I'll just have the other half tomorrow. I always try and batch cook to save a bit of time, but I've got a full day again tomorrow with Slimmers, so easier to just 
it all up now. And these peri peri ones are really, really nice. Pop them in the oven for, we do about 16 minutes on 180. And this is the salad that I'm going for, tomato and Italian cheese salad. So you get lots of extra little bits in. So you get your Parmesan cheese and your dressing. Less than 100 calories for the whole thing. Which I think is amazing when you get cheese as well. Woo. So I really need something to hold my camera up a bit higher because this is really annoying having to bend down. <laughs> oh, but never mind. So this is what I'm having. So salad is in the bowl. I get all the tomatoes out and I chop them into quarters to make them go a bit further. Okay, so cut them into quarters like this. And then I like to add the sauce. Then the cheese, the best bit. <laughs> Who doesn't love cheese? <laughs> Saying that though, Bethany's now dairy free, so she can't have cheese. So she has to have like a coconut vegan alternative. <laughs> so sprinkle the cheese on, like so. <laughs> oh, I'm rubbish at this, but yeah, that's my salad. Very simple. <laughs> oh, and I also take out the cucumber. I'm not a cucumber fan. So yeah, that's my salad. Then I'll put two bits of chicken on the top afterwards and I'll show you. And then it's basically a 300 calorie lunch, which I think is ma I mean, that's a big bowl, a massive bowl of salad. And I might even put an extra bit of like salad cream on because if you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with salad cream. Oh, and on Instagram, I get asked about this outfit a lot. So it's little shorts with like a t-shirt from H&M. It's like a little lounge set. I was totally influenced by Chloe on the fridge raiders on instagram and yeah i decided to buy it for myself and it's so comfortable it's a really nice color um it's like a towely sort of not even towely actually i don't know what material it is but it's really comfy and yeah wear it with little shorts that match basically like wearing your pajamas out <laughs> so this will be number what was it i've lost count three four maybe even four no three three this is my third point and it's lunchtime, so yeah, not too bad. I will get better at these, I promise. I'm just gonna practice. Keep practice. Practice makes perfect, right? And what I say to my swimmers, or not my swimmers, well, anyone actually, swimmers and team that are online, don't worry about what you post. Like, people don't care if it's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And I don't know how to vlog. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, you just film, chat, chat to the camera, edit it together and post it, and just hope for the best. But it really doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you guys don't think it has to be perfect because this definitely is not going to be perfect. If you follow me, you will know that. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you can see me a bit better now. So this is the outfit. These are the shorts, really comfy, high-waisted. So comfortable, honestly, H&M. Okay, so the chicken is done. Boom. I think I can safely say that was bloody delicious. Really fill in. I'm gonna finish my pint of water and then get on with my calls. Also got these little pots from Amazon to keep any leftovers in, so I'll save that for tomorrow's salad. Or I might even have it with veg actually tomorrow. Okay, so I'm slowly getting there. I've now put you on the actual tripod, so I don't have to duck. I'm in the office, I'm just about to do my calls with my slimmers, so I've got back-to-back -back calls now. A couple of gaps, just to like go for a wee and maybe make a cup of tea and go in and see Beth. Like, this doesn't feel right that she's in the house and I'm out here, but she knows where I am, so she's just singing. Singing with YouTube karaoke, which is something that she absolutely loves, so that's what she's doing today. But this is the beauty of working from home, guys. Like, I can be here, even when Bethany's off, I can still work, I can still earn money, still look after my clients still do what I love doing, um, but still be a mum at the same time, so pretty cool. 
So yeah, I will see you all soon. I might see if um, any slimmers want to feature. I bet they don't, but I'll ask them. So you may see some, you may not. Fingers crossed. So for any consultants watching, this is my little setup. So I have my phone on our lovely little one-to-one -one diet stand and I call my clients on a loudspeaker or video, of course, if they've chosen video. And um, then I've got my iPad. So I use the iPad Pro with the, like, it's called the Magic Keyboard. So it like sticks on like that. It's really cool. And this is where I, um, where is it? And this is where I'd log on to everyone's EPRFs and I update them here while I'm on the phone. So yeah, it's working really well actually. Virtual is the way forward guys. I love virtual and remote consulting. It's working absolutely amazingly for me and my team. Um, and I feel like the support is just, just as good. And they can have products delivered to their door. I know so many people prefer it because they don't have to leave their house. I speak to a lot of my slimmers, even when they're out and about in the car or, you know, and they put me on loudspeaker or they're out with the kids. They don't have to be at home or ready for an appointment and come to your house. Do you know what I mean? So if you're not doing remote or virtual, give it a go. Cause it's amazing. This is me putting you back on the stand. God, I'm just useless. I should make like an outtakes. Right, anyway, I'm starting my calls now, so I'll see if I can get them on. If I can, brilliant. If I can't, sorry, you'll just have to put up with me. It's lovely to talk to you, Stacey. I hope you have a great week and a lovely time in London this weekend. Yeah, thank you. Um, You're welcome. I've got my call in on Wednesday anyway, haven't I? So okay, then, perfect. Uh, I'll teach you then. But okay. I will probably voice note you. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right, voice note me. <laughs> Message anytime, honestly, I'm always here, and I will Hi, speak to you next Wednesday. Thank you. Alright, bye. Bye. Hi. Hello, you alright? Good, good, thank you. I'm really good, thank you. How's your week been? Okay, I've put you on the stand. So you're higher up now and you should be able to see me a bit better, hopefully. So um, yeah, all set up, getting better. Point number four. I think I'm gonna have a bar with my cup of tea, so I fancy something sweet, and then I'll have my dinner a bit later. So I've got my cup of tea and, you know, in a massive, massive mug. A pint, basically, and my favorite fruit and nut bar. Oh my God, if you haven't tried this, oh my God, it's heaven. Really high protein, high fiber, got all your vitamins and minerals in, so it can be used as maintenance or part of the plan. Obviously, I'm not on plan, but I just, I have the products. They're always here. <laughs> I've got easy access, they're high protein, they're really good for you, they're filling, they're just really good. And I'd rather eat one of these than have a chocolate bar. And I always fancy something sweet, like mid-afternoon. Normally I would have done the school run um, in about half an hour and I'd probably have it after that. But I haven't got to do the school run today because Bethany's here and Finney's coming home with his friend. So I'm just gonna have it now because I've finished my calls and it's my little break. And then I'll get the wrath of after school and getting their dinner ready and all of that. So I'm always busy and then I'll have my dinner later tonight, but yeah. If you haven't tried this, this and the peanut bar are like my ultimate, ultimate favourite. This one hasn't got dressed all day, have you? Eating again? Is that nice? Is it yummy? Are you feeling alright? So for the kids dinner, I'm going to cook them these caramelised red onion turkey sausages and they are only 165 calories for two sausages. So I'm probably going to have two as well. I've also got this tender stem broccoli as well, which is really low in calories. Um, so I'm going to have that with my sausages. Pint number five. Pint number five. I did drink the rest of it. I just didn't want to bore you downing a whole pint. Like I did this morning. <laughs> so that's what, nearly three litres now and it's not even five o'clock yet so yeah going well and of course the camera is so annoying i've got to have salad cream so i'm just going to measure 
So last night totally got away with me and I had loads of zooms and I completely forgot to finish this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't actually get a chance to record what I had in the evening, but I did have two crumpets with, I used the sourdough ones from Sainsbury's, they're lovely, they're like seeded. Had two of them with a tiny bit of butter and some Marmite while I watched Love Island with a decaf coffee. So sorry I didn't finish the video very well. I will get better at this, I promise. This was kind of like a practice run. I'm gonna do a few more and I'm gonna start recording a little bit more day in the life, more content of me just in general, what I get up to, you know, my work-life balance because I get asked about that quite a lot and obviously what I eat in a day. I will share a bit better next time. So watch this space. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and I will promise to upload more content. And if you're watching this on Instagram, please give me a follow and like and comment if you feel you want to. It just really, really helps like push the videos out to more people and obviously raise more awareness of the one-to-one -one diet and me as a consultant basically. So yeah, I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it was a bit unprofessional. <laughs> I will get better, I promise. Thank you for watching. See you soon.